how to work with rotational symmetry in 94 seconds. Let's go. Unfortunately, guys, this is a topic which is forgotten about so often in school, but don't worry, we're going to make it clear. Let's have a look. Rotational symmetry. First off, what does it mean for a shape to be rotationally symmetrical? What it means is that if we rotate that shape around the center point, we can end up with exactly the same shape, looking in exactly the same way as we started out with. So if a shape, for example, has rotational symmetry of order two, there are going to be two different rotations of that shape, which look exactly the same. Now, that might sound a little bit weird at the moment, so let's have a look at these four shapes to show what I mean. So, first off, our square. We would say that a square has rotational symmetry of order four, and that's because there are going to be four different rotations, one, two, three, and four, which look exactly the same when we rotate the shape around the center point. What about our pentagon? A pentagon, we would say, would have rotational symmetry of order five, and that's because there are going to be five different rotations, one, two, three, four, and five, which look exactly the same. Next up, our kite. Our kite, we would actually say, has rotational symmetry of order one, and that's because there's actually going to be only one version of this, one rotation of this, which looks exactly the same as the start point, and that is if we rotated at a full 360 degrees. That's the only way to get a shape which looks like this. Finally, our compound shape down here in the bottom right-hand corner, guys, we would say that that would have rotational symmetry of order two, and that's because there are going to be two rotations rotations, one, two, which look exactly the same when we rotate this around the center point. 